4,000. Denny's restaurants offer a signature breakfast dish named after what sports term? Slam dunk, touchdown, knockout, grand slam. A slam dunk, final answer. Oh, I meant grand slam. B. Sorry, That's you said that. Oh. I'm so sorry, it was grand slam. And you can't leave with less than that. Oh, good job. Yay. <laughs> going for, going for $2,000, Demi. How much daylight is there on a day when the sunrise is at 7.14 a.m. and the sunset is at 5.11 p.m.? Nine hours, three minutes. Eight hours, 37 minutes. Nine hours, 57 minutes. Eight hours, seven minutes. I'm going to choose, I probably should take a lifeline because I'm totally, because I didn't want math or time, I'm like crazy here, but I'm going to take a chance and I'm going to go. Nine hours, three minutes. for $25,000 here. Still have the double dip. How many U.S. states have names that begin with the word new? Two, three, four, five. I think I'm going to use my double dip on this one. Okay, we're going to stop the clock with 11 seconds. Two opportunities to answer this question. If you get it wrong, though, you will go down to $1,000. May I have your first answer, please? B, three, final answer. It is not B. Ed, you have 11 seconds, starting now. walk away. Final answer. Ed, you can't walk away with double dip. Oh. Yeah, with double dip, you're not allowed to walk away. That's why it's a, oh. that's why I said if you got both wrong, you would go down okay. to $1,000. I'm sorry, Ed. Oh, okay. But you do have $1,000. Thanks for playing the game, Ed. Pleasure to meet you. Last night you didn't get here till three in the morning and you haven't slept a wink, huh? No, I'm pretty much have coffee flowing through my veins right now. Do you really? Yeah. But as a college student, I'm no. thinking maybe that's not so rare. Yeah, I'm up pretty late mostly. I'm kind of uh, insomniac, I guess. Okay, so, but so you know where you I'm, are. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. All right, good, good. Yeah. Well, as long as you're feeling good yeah. and you know the rules and the lifelines and you're ready to play, we're going to play. Are you right. ready? Ready. Okay, then let's play. Homeowners 
Americans buy surge protectors to protect their possessions from unexpected surges of what? Electric current, water flow, air pressure, buyer's remorse. I will say B, water flow, final answer. Wait. Oh, oh Chase Snow's electric current. Oh, Chase, I'm so sorry. Oh, darn. Coming to play now is scientist Mary. And joining us now is Lorraine Polio from Rochester, New York. Hi, Lorraine. Nice to see you. Have yourself a seat. It was nicely warmed up and a lot of money it just changed hands. I know it's a hard act to follow. Well, I think you're up to it. You know the rules, you know the lifelines, are you yes. ready to play? Yes, I am. Okay, let's play. Go. Okay, Lorraine, for $100. According to a well-known piece of advice, if you want something done right, you have to what? Use a calculator, double-check everything, <laughs> do it yourself, call MacGyver. <laughs> Well, my son's advice was, Mom, don't be stupid and pick D on the first one. So I'm definitely not doing that. <laughs> and <laughs> it is do it yourself. C, final answer. Do it yourself, Mom. You got it. Going for 200. <laughs> what punctuation mark is commonly used to introduce a list of items? Colon, apostrophe, period, exclamation point. Okay. Bullet, I guess, isn't the commonly used. So it would be C, period. Uh, final answer. No, Lorraine, it's, it's a puzzle to introduce items. <gasps> Hold no way. Oh, shoot, I'm sorry. Lorraine. Oh, no! Wait, wait there a minute. You folks stick around. We'll be back with another contestant in just a moment. KP duty is the category for $300. Which of these kitchen items most closely resembles a hemisphere? Salad fork, cookie sheet, spatula, cereal bowl. Spatula, final answer. Oh no. Oh no, it was I did it. No. Oh, oh god. It was oh, well. cereal bowl. Oh, oh Rich, I'm sorry. Hemisphere. Oh, sweetie. I know. I was thinking the wrong. I understand. I, I was sort of put in the same way. I'm sorry, Rich. You folks, stay tuned. We'll be back with more Millionaire right after this. I understand. You know. All right, Natalie. Let's put 15 seconds on the clock. Here it is for $1,000. As part of its maintenance, which of these tourist attractions requires the use of embalming fluid? Lenin's Tomb, Mount Rushmore, Stone Edge, Hoover Dam. C, final answer. Oh, no, Natalie. It is Lenin's Tomb, the Out body. Out of all places. Oh, oh, I know. Well, I am so sorry. <laughs> but it's a pleasure to have you here, Natalie. <laughs> Proud to our U.S. citizen. <laughs> Fittingly, the Atlanta Fulton Public Library displays the typewriter used to write what classic novel? The Sound and the Fury, Native Son, Gone with the Wind, To Kill a Mockingbird. Um, I know To Kill a Mockingbird, I don't think that's in Atlanta. I studied that like three years ago. Uh, Gone with the Wind. I should have listened in English class. Um, I'm gonna have to five seconds. Double dip. Okay. Yes. Now this is a little bit scary here. You only have three seconds left. You have two answers. Yeah. Get them both wrong. You go down to five thousand. Let's hear your first answer. My first answer is gonna be a the sound of the fury. Final. Yes. It's not the sound of the fury. 
remind you that clock ticks quickly. You have three seconds to give me your second oh answer, starting now. I'm gonna go with Deke Killmockingbird. Oh, well, time is up. I know you, you tried to get to kill a mockingbird in there. Sorry about it's that. Okay. You do go down to 5,000. If it's any consolation, let's see what the answer was. It wasn't Deke Killmockingbird. Atlanta, that's the scene for Gone with the Wind. away from the million you know the rules you know the lifeline yeah. are you ready to play yes yeah. yeah. <laughs> let's play <laughs> 15 seconds on the clock first question five hundred dollars when attacked by predators which of these animals will often activate a large gland known as an ink sac cheetah squid owl paris hilton uh, owl c final answer Sorry, you knew after you said it, lovey. I'm so sorry. It was squid. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry, lovey. Oh, God. Well, please stay with us. This happens sometimes. It's very unfortunate. I'm going to be right $300 is next. A nod to the location of the oil fields where it was first produced. A well-known brand of motor oil has what state-inspired name? Rhodes oil, Maine's oil, Penn's oil, Con's oil. Oh my God, I have no clue. I don't. Five Maine's, seconds. Okay, B, final answer. I screwed up. Find the correct answer was I C, Penn's oil. oil. Oh, Stephanie. Doing so well, the pressure is on. I went too fast. I, I did what I told myself not to do. Well, which is what? Jump on an answer before reading them fully. And oh. it's Pennzoil, and I see that now. I'm, I'm a dork. Oh. Sorry, family. So sorry. You're not a dork. You're a good That's person. Okay. You're a good mom. Thank you so much for coming. quickly, but we're going to be back with another contestant right after this.